Dope is what flows in his fam's DNA. Dope is what flows in his fam's DNA. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Warren Shaw here, and another dope interview session is on tap. Brought to you by 19 Media Group. We're back. In this week's episode, we're diving into the tech space a little bit, but in a very functional way, at least in my opinion. I have my guy, Alex Levine, here, CEO of Zbeck. Alex, how the hell are you, man? I'm doing great. I'm doing great, Warren. Excited uh, excited to be here and uh, happy to chat about kind of where we are in the future of work. It's uh, been, um, been crazy recently. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. We're going to get to kind of all of that. So for the listeners, you know, I'm, I'm an honest dude. You know, we, we keep it a buck here on, on Dope Interviews. Uh, I came across Zback kind of on Instagram, right? Those damn algorithms, they got me, Alan. <laughs> so you did a good job with, you know, working, you know, promoting your social media. But in your own words, tell the people a little bit about what your product is about and why we're even talking here today. Yeah, absolutely. So Zback is a computer accessories brand that is focused on enabling this modern professional who lives a mobile lifestyle to be successful wherever the world may take them. Our flagship product is the Zbeck Tri-Screen, which is this laptop attachment that adds two additional monitors to any laptop, easily tripling your screen real estate uh, and allowing you to maximize your productivity without sacrificing portability you'd find with traditional monitors. So what led you to this space, right? So like, again, I saw the damn thing on IG and I was like, man, I'll get to that a little bit later, but uh, what led you here? Well, like, how, how'd you get into this to this business all, all together? Yeah, absolutely. So glad to know that our, our ads are sticky and they're working. So yeah, if, uh, sure. the easiest way to, to, to get through it is as soon as you buy one, we seem to stop uh, throwing those ads right now. I'm joking. <laughs> um, but uh, So actually, it, it's a pretty good story. Uh, uh, it was a number of years ago. This was uh, the beginning of 2017, both myself and my co-founder, Trevor Russo, um, were, uh, were in consulting uh, at, at the time, uh, working for large consulting firms. Uh, Trevor was in New York City. I was uh, here in Austin, Texas. We're doing the traditional Monday through Thursday uh, uh, travel where you'd fly to a client site, um, work at hotels, airports, airport lounges, client sites, you know, coffee shops, you name it, anywhere but a traditional office for four days a week. And then you'd fly home on Fridays and uh, spend a couple hours at these you know, beautiful offices that your consulting firms put together for you right um and you know the few hours we spent on those fridays you have these you know two 32 inch curved monitors herman miller chair anti-carpal tunnel wrist pads every you know a gadget you could think of to optimize for the most productive environment but the reality was we were spending you know 90 percent of our of our work week huddled over these small laptop screens um and so that was the initial um kind of genesis of it trevor and i've been friends for over 20 years now um, and, you know, being individuals that were both in this consulting space and living this mobile lifestyle. Um, whenever I first kind of came across this idea, um, I decided to reach out to him and, and go from there. Um, but yeah, I've got a, an engineering and product development background. So it was a flight home from uh, Chicago one weekend. I put together a, a 3D AutoCAD drawing, 3D printed it over the weekend, busted out some old laptop screens, and that was the nasty version zero of what is now our uh, Zbeck Tri Screen. So why why this specific product? Is it just based on you know like you're saying you kind of your own travels and not being able to have that level of fine functionality, so to speak, as you were moving around? So typical, I have a problem. Maybe other people have this problem too. Is that kind of why this specific product? Yeah, it started real organically and, and innocently, really. You know, it was um, solving a problem for myself. Um, I think just being kind of the engineering minded, uh, hacky person, I said, let me see what I can do for it. Uh, I actually, you know, brought it up that following week after uh, I made it there in uh, was that February of 2017. And my coworkers on my project up in Chicago were, were really excited. You know, they're saying, hey, print one of those for me. Of course, I spent 48 hours sitting there watching my FBM printer go around in circles. That wasn't very feasible, but it was cool to hear that feedback. And so then I shared the product with Trevor, somebody else who I knew was in a similar space, you know, had a lot of trust with and a long relationship. And not only him, but his coworkers shared that same thought. And so we realized, wow, this isn't just, you know, uh, a problem that, that we face, but, uh, you know, the, the market is, is that much larger. And we realized that consultants really at the end of the day were just the tip of the iceberg. Um, so it was, uh, you know, yeah, trying to solve a problem that we were facing ourselves and uh, just really exciting. And uh, you know, to this point, four years later to see how many other people have been able to take advantage of it. 
So let's drill down a little bit more into that, right? So as I mentioned, it caught me on IG, um, and I'm a person who podcasts. I'm starting to do a little YouTube stuff, and you know, even watching movies on Netflix. And like again, you're always, always multitasking, so to speak. Just I saw it and I was like, man, I, I would love to get this thing for sure. Let me reach out, talk to them, and try to find out a little bit about myself. It's like, damn, this would actually be a dope, dope interview, right? Yeah. But who do you think the target audience really is? Is it really just the everyday person? Or just, yeah. you know, again, like, what do you think, who are you trying to go after in this? No, and that's, that's a great question. And when it first started, you know, our focus was on these consultants, right? Um, and then we realized consultants made up a small percentage of the number of business travelers. So, you know, pre-COVID, uh, over 7 million people traveled every week in the U.S. alone for business. And so that was a pretty striking number. Mm. Um, and we only came to realize that that was a much smaller chunk of the overall group of people at that point in time that we're working regularly away from your standard office, right? Whether that be one day a week or five days a week. Um, and it really seemed to be independent of industry. Um, but we saw this crazy trend. It was an exponential growth from 2014 to 2019, over 40% uh, growth in the number of remote workers. Um, and with that being exponential growth, that really caught our eye and made us you know, really excited to continue to explore building products in this space. Um, and, you know, the, the, the thing that we found most striking was it's, it's completely independent of industry. Like you said, you're in podcasting and media, um, but we've also got, you know, customers that are insurance underwriters or they're content creators or they're financial analysts, or they're the traditional, uh, you know, software developer, hardware developer. You always think of having multiple monitors, but in this day and age, it really doesn't matter. One of my favorite quotes we heard from our customers is I don't know the difference between a gigabyte and a gigahertz, but it doesn't matter because I need the same tools and products to get my stuff done as somebody who is, you know, an engineer, more technical minded uh, might need. And so uh, that was really our motivation was to build this brand, this brand around freedom and your ability to bring your work with you wherever you may be um, and to yeah build products to cater to that audience. We're talking with Alex Levine here, CEO of ZBEC, one of the hottest products out here in the tech world. Make sure that you check them out at thezbeck.com. I got Alex, right? So let, let's continue this conversation a little bit. Behind any great product is a great team. You mentioned your guy, Trevor, right? Who else kind of was behind the scenes here putting this thing, putting it together for you? Yeah, so in the early days, it was it was Trevor and I. Um, and Trevor would be the first to tell you that, um, you know, four and a half years ago, uh, no one would have even asked uh, him to plug their HDMI cable into their TV. So, uh, <laughs> but, you know, his background in finance um, and, uh, uh, and really his passion for business is something that uh, I felt was a great yin to my yang. Um, we've also, like I said, known each other for so long. Uh, we were kind of able to cut through any of the awkward phases at the beginning and our ability to uh, communicate with one another is kind of, uh, you know, uh, incomparable to anybody else that I've, I've ever worked with. Um, uh, in addition to him, you know, friends, family, I think in this day and age, everybody's got, you know, that great idea that they want to tell people about. Um, and I think the thing that kind of differentiates Trevor and I is, We've, you know, always been really careful to say what we're going to do, but as soon as we say we're going to do something, we will, you know, see it all the way through. Um, and having the accountability from our friends, from our family, um, you know, everyone from my wife to uh, to my parents to Trevor's parents, um, as well as, you know, once we got a little further down the line, you know, bringing it up to September, October of 2019, get involved with the Capital Factory here in Austin, uh, which is a startup accelerator who's been beyond, you know. Uh, uh, beyond helpful, but integral to the success we've seen to date, um, kind of each step along the way as we've achieved these milestones and really, you know, met those accountability metrics, uh, uh, you know, it's their support has helped us get to the next step. So I'm sure user feedback is obviously very positive and, you know, probably a great indicator of kind of how you want to potentially continue to move this thing forward. Is there anybody who might have shocked you in terms of the way they utilize it. Again, obviously we, we understand it's, 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 I don't, I'm not trying to undersell it per se, but and we're attaching two screens to a laptop to make that laptop yeah. have three screens to be mobile. That That's amazing. But is there any type of person out there that again, was like, damn, I didn't think this would be the use that they did this thing for. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it spans the spectrum. Um, you know, like I said, we were thinking very practical spreadsheet, PowerPoint, uh, you know, software developer user, right? You know, these very business oriented uh, use cases and the number of businesses and uses that have, you know, come out from whether the original tri screen uh, or due to the enhanced features we've done to the tri screen too has blown our mind. Everywhere 
from, uh, you know, I can't name specifics, but a big football team up in Cleveland, um, their front office having, uh, having the ability to bring a little extra space into the war room during draft day, um, or a, uh, a, a star flight type of group out of Alabama that has their mission control station at home uh, and in their office. But as soon as they jump with a the helicopter, they run out of that space. Um, and so it's been pretty crazy to see how people have used them in the more extreme settings. Um, also, you know, use cases with uh, the U.S. military as well. I mean, it's a rugged, portable machine that gives people the ability to, to use it in the field. Um, you know, three things that we have no experience in as, as you know, users, as employees, uh, but it's really cool to see out there. Um, but then also kind of the more traditional, right? Uh, the vast majority of our customers are, you know, that, that, that father who stays at home with his kids, um, and is uh, knocking out work while they're splashing around the pool and he can just bring his laptop and whole set out, uh, out, out to the patio and get stuff done. Or maybe it's, um, you know, a, uh, a younger couple live in a, you know, an apartment in New York city and they don't have the ability to have a massive office dedicated, right. Cause they don't have the square footage. And so they're just whipping up their office space, shutting it down. And, you know, we've heard some customers say, thank you for giving me this. Cause my husband was giving me a hard time about making a mess on the dinner table every night. And so now I can just pack it all up and throw it in a backpack. And so um, we've seen the extremes and we've seen somewhere in between, but I think just given the flexibility, if it's as, you know, as far as going across the other side of the world, working in a camper van, being a digital nomad, or just simply being able to hop around different rooms in your house, um, uh, you know, that freedom and that flexibility is really what we've seen. It's been really exciting. Uh, it is really exciting. I'm just, I'm picturing, you know, I mean, you know, as a dad, you know, laying out by the pool, or whatever, checking my fantasy team or something like that while doing some other things too, right? It's like, you know, it's an amazing, amazing concept. I want to ask, and, you know, we're going to keep it a buck here. As I said, we don't have to mention those other people. But you talked about a lot of great other things as well, too. I want to touch on that too. But do you have any like direct competitors, people trying to knock you off patents and things of that nature? Like kind of where are you in that space as well? Yeah, no, I mean, and that's, that is a, it is, it is a crazy reality that we're in. So we were fortunate uh, to get our utility patent issued uh, of nice. October of last year. So uh, just about a year of having that under our belt. Um, and it was funny, almost as soon as that patent was issued was when uh, the knockoff started. Um, <laughs> and, and, you know, the marketplaces that we're all very big fans of as consumers um, are pretty good conduits for a lot of these knockoffs uh, overseas to be able to list. You knock them down. It's like a game. It's what we call whack-a-mole, right? It pops right. up, you knock it down, it pops up somewhere else, um, as well as their own independent websites as well. And, you know, I think when you create a, a, a space like this with a product that's so visually striking, um, it, you know, it, it lends itself to being, you know, potentially copied. Um, but, you know, it's kind of the, the best form of flattery. There's some other competitors that are in this mobile workstation space that operate mm -hmm. outside the bounds of our IP, which we're totally happy to, to compete with. Um, I, we honestly think competition is an amazing thing as long as people are playing by the rules and we're building a bigger network for each other. Of course, we think our products are, you know, uh, have an edge on the other ones out there in the market, the legitimate ones. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been a pretty wild, uh, year almost exactly since we've seen those pop up, but we're, we're doing our best to try to, to knock them down and get them out of the way. Hey, get them up out of here. We don't, we don't want no knockoffs. You know what I mean? We don't, we don't want no regular, um, congratulations, you know, number one on that patent and, and so forth. And, you know, it's one of those things. So we, you mentioned a certain team that we can't name, so to speak, but are there, would you be open to licensing agreements and logoing and things of that nature or we're, and 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 it's fine if you would but would you consider that selling out you know what i mean as well too yeah. like kind of like what do you ultimately want to go with there yeah i mean it, you know there's really nothing stopping a company from you know buying a hundred units and slapping their company logo on them and giving them to their employees right um i mean sure there's violation of terms of service somewhere there but we're not there to track those people down yeah. um for us what we really think you know, kind of differentiates us from anyone else in the space. And what really motivated Trevor and I to, to jump into this computer accessory space as a whole was um, really to be this voice of this modern consumer, right? This modern mm -hmm. professional um, and build those tools that enable people to be the peak version of themselves, both professionally and personally, right? If you can go up to, you know, Pittsburgh a week early to spend the week at grandma's house before her 85th birthday, but you can play cards and eat dinner with her at night, but hold your conferences and meetings and run your podcasts and edit your videos during the day because you have the tools with you. That's what we want to be able to do, right? We want to be that voice 
for this modern professional. Uh, you know, we say uh, by modern professionals for modern professionals. And I think that that's kind of the best way to go about it. It's, it's a really cool industry because everybody is an expert consumer of it, right? It's not, um, you know, medical hardware where, you know, if you're not a physician, you may not be familiar and it's not oil and gas down here in Texas, you know, oil and gas kind of is king. And if you're, if you're not working uh, uh, in the field, you're not really familiar with how those tools work. You know, when it comes to keyboards, mice, uh, additional monitors, whatever it may be, uh, having the having the best tool, um, it really can change the way in which you operate. And so we really think that uh, that we're kind of on the cutting edge there. And it's been interesting, you know, 2018, 2019, we'd go around to pitch competitions and tell people, hey, we really think this remote work thing is is the future. You know, the 44 percent increase over the five period five year period I was telling you about. Um, but uh, we heard a lot of, you know, that might work for you, but it doesn't work for me. Um, for these reasons. And it wasn't even as bureaucratic as you may think. It wasn't like, oh, that's outside our policy. It's, it was, hey, this, this just isn't going to work. We're too collaborative. But people, you know, the one silver lining of the past year and a half that's been insane has been the flexibility that people have been able to find with this remote work. Um, you're spending more time with your family, with your dog. You know, your coworker can be somebody that you don't actually work with. Um, my wife, uh, Trevor, and a friend of ours had an Airbnb up in Salt Lake City for four months, and we were skiing during the day and working at night and all sitting next to each other working for three completely different companies. And I think that that's kind of the beauty of what the internet gives you. And we want to be able to build these products to support that, that mindset um, beyond just kind of the features and functionality of each individual product. You mentioned some pitch meetings and things of that nature. So, you know, uh, while I say, I don't think I'm super techie, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm all right. You know what I mean? I, I can get, get by and I want television things of that nature. So is it something, you know, again, I'm just going to mention them by name. Would like, would you go on Shark Tank? You know what I mean? And like try yeah, to get yeah. investor to really try to put this thing to scale. Is that something that you guys would even do? It's, you know, it's interesting. You know, we've been able to, we, we, we've explored plenty of different opportunities. Uh, you know, there, I, I love Shark Tank personally. Um, when we were, in, when we were in college, one of uh, the organizations I was a part of brought a, uh, had a lectureship series. You bring in a you know special lecture to teach here uh, at, at UT in Austin for one day. And we brought in Damon John and I was nerding out the whole time. So huge, huge Shark Tank fan. Um, but I think it's interesting, you know, there is, uh, I think once you kind of get under the hood and you get into, to understand how these businesses operate, you know, at the end of the day, everyone's kind of a business. And so, um, you know, the world of fundraising and startups uh, can be really glamorized, but then, you know, as soon we you know tell this to people all the time, as soon as you sign that $10 million series A, well, now you have, you know, you have, liability to, to, yeah. to go ahead and execute on that, right? You just went out and pitched it. Um, and, you know, for some people, pitching can be a lot easier than executing. Um, and so it's been interesting. We've been really excited to be able to stay as independent as we are. Um, but we're always looking for opportunities to get out there and scale. And the organic growth from our customers has been super helpful to get us here today. I think that's a great answer. I mean, yeah. And, hey, you're you're in Texas. You know, you know uh, Mark Cuban, he's in Dallas. Whatever. There we go. Exactly. <laughs> It's a quick ride. Maybe he'll see this or hear this. You know what I mean? And want to want to get involved. But again, yeah, I mean, you don't 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 give him no discounts. You know what I mean? yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, he can negotiate. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> My guy Alex Levine here, CEO of Zbeck. You know, we're about chopping it up here about this great product. You know, the TriScreen Two. Alex, let's talk a little bit about this price. All right, you know, again, told you we'll keep it a buck. It's not a buck. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's it's a little it's a little pricey. It's a little on the aggressive side, you know. What has been user feedback kind of about that? Is there are there plans? Could there be plans to maybe get that down some Black Friday specials? Man, I don't know. Just yeah. you know, so you can get more get it in the hands of more people. No, I know, and that's a very valid question. You know, we when we launched the the tri screen, uh, the original tri screen, it was on the market for four forty nine, um, but we we ran a pretty frequent fifty dollar off discount. Um, so it was in the 399 range with the tri screen two price did go up. I mean, 25% substantial 499, $500. You can buy a halfway decent laptop for that price. A big reason for us having to do that was, you know, this, this crazy ripple effect that COVID's had in the, the supply chain world. Sure. Um, and as well as in the freight and shipping world, you know, we've seen our freight costs go up 10 X. Uh, the cost to get something ocean freighted is now two or three times more expensive than it was to get it air freighted just a year ago. Um, component shortages have been wild. Everyone's heard of, you know, the chip shortage, everyone from Apple to Ford, right? That's why there's no F-150s on the dealer lots. <laughs> um, and then for us specifically, 
the LCD panel is a major component of our product. Um, and it, interestingly enough, it's the glass over the LCD panel itself that was in shortage. And so that causes these massive spikes um, in, in these components. And so for us, we were you know, kind of looking around, trying to see what we could do to make things make sense. Um, and we realized that, you know, it, it is it is pricey. It certainly doesn't, you know, become a easy option for everybody else. But we feel like we're pretty tried and true as a business. We're not running, you know, sneaky discounts. You can run Honey or any of those other things on our website. You won't see that there's some deals we're giving to people that put it in their cart and they leave. We try to be, you know, mm-hmm. the, the brand that, you know, delivers the same price to everybody. Um, of course, we're really excited. Definitely keep your eyes out uh, in November. That's when we uh, are always running our sales, um, uh, Black Friday. Uh, and we'll see what happens then. I mean, inventory uh, constraints with the shipping delays could uh, could cause us to to kind of sell out of that rather quickly. Um, but uh, but yeah, we try to try to keep it tried and true. I think one of those frustrating things about, you know, a lot of big box stores is, you know, I could go in and buy the same thing that my neighbor buys and I spend 75 dollars more because I just didn't get that one coupon in the mail. And so um, <laughs> we, we want to make sure that people feel like they got what, uh, you know, you got a fair shake out at the very least. No, that's important. And, and I think as a business owner, you want to have some sort of, you know, um, integrity and reputation that people can like, you know what, that's a good product run by good people. So, yeah. you know, I commend you for that, you know, again, and, and the price, it, it's, it's a worthy product, right? And then right now the supply chains and you know some of my other industries that i work in i understand yeah, yeah. i mean i don't want to have to be charging people 20 to 25 percent more but we're getting taxed and you know what i mean it's really just trying it's just cost of doing business right now unfortunately yeah. so i can appreciate that for sure before i let you get out of here just a couple more you know and just what else you got up your sleeve yeah you know i mean you seem like a real innovative team so you have this now launching and whatever there's gonna it's gonna be successful it is successful as, as i should say and the next question, what's next? Like, well, all right, what else can, can Z-Beck do? Absolutely. So we've got a great team here in Austin now. Um, uh, we're actually not just in Austin. We're, we're, we're all over the country and, and across the world. Uh, Ten full-time people uh, and then a couple dozen additional, uh, you know, contractors that we're working with everywhere from, you know, uh, South Africa to Hong Kong, Shenzhen, you name it. Um, and so we've got a great team. It's crazy to look or, you know, look back almost two years ago and go from two of us to, uh, you know, 15 plus. Um, and so, yeah, we're always working on the next thing. I mean, for us, what we want to do, um, you know, our, our goal is to be the, the leading name in mobile computer accessories, right? We want somebody to say, Hey, I just got this new gig where I can work remote, you know, full time. I want to get everything in the z swag bag, including the bag itself. And then I'm set and ready to go. Right. So it starts with just your, your monitors, our tri-screen product, which, you know, I love, I I'm, I'm a nerd and I geek out on that stuff too. Um, but then it can get more simple, right? We just launched a laptop stand, um, on Tuesday. Um, and that's available on our website. Now it's this amazing, incredibly low profile, uh, foldable stand that sticks to the bottom of your laptop, but it can prop up and be used at any point in time. I'm using it right now. So I'm eye level and I'm not bending my neck over from there to a Bluetooth keyboards, mice, uh, power banks, you know, a, a comfortable everyday carry backpack. Uh, and what we say is the, the entire office that you can fit in a backpack, including the backpack itself. Um, so that's where we're at. We want to build that perfect office setup that you can pop up and be ready to go. Uh, you know, whether that be in your home office in the corner or at the coffee shop down the way and hopefully not look too ridiculous uh, with mission control popping up at the Starbucks. So we'll see. <laughs> Oh man, you're trying to get people to Z-Beck down, right? Like oh, yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, bring it on. Let's do it. That's how I, I love it. on my end. So I'm like, hey, let's we'll we'll, we'll ride right alongside, right alongside. My guy, Alex, anything else for the people here about the product? Again, you said to look out in November, might have a little Black Friday special, so forth and so forth, a little teaser. But anything else before we let you get out of here, man? This has been amazing. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think uh I I, I think one thing is you know. We, we preach this this freedom message, right? This mantra of free yourself. Uh, and that's something that we, we truly, you know, live by. Uh, something that we think really makes us stand out, you know, from, uh, from September of 2019 through May of 2020, uh, or September, sorry, of 2020 through May of 2021. Both Trevor and myself, uh, uh, you know, we were living this digital nomad remote lifestyle started in, uh, uh, in Denver, made our way down to Santa Barbara, 
then we were in Tulum, Mexico for a while. Like I said, in Salt Lake City, we made our way down to Miami and then finally back here to Austin. Uh, my wife and I did that because she had the flexibility to get up and go. Um, we were, uh, you know, uh, between two leases. So we threw our dog in our SUV and uh, everything we needed. And we just had, you know, the trip of a lifetime. And you're definitely confined over, you know, what we could have done over the past, you know, 18 months. But we felt like going out, seeing the world and, you know, sharing those experiences without trying to, you know, put yourself at risk from a professional perspective um, was really exciting. That's what we want to go out there and motivate people to do, right? If you've got an opportunity to do something, jump in a camper van and drive with your buddies down the coast and spend a week camping and, you know, working from the beach. And, uh, and you know, the more opportunities you can say yes to anything to free yourself from kind of these antiquated expectations of, you know, working harder as opposed to smarter, just say no, open the door and, and, and free yourself. That's what we're looking for. Amazing, amazing. Alex Levine here, CEO of ZVAC. We thank you so much for being here. That's all the time we have for today. Make sure you check out the site at dzbeck.com. Follow them on Instagram as well, too. Same name. I'm your guy, Warren Shaw from 19 Media Group. This has been another dope interview. We'll catch you next time. Together we stand, divided we never. The vision is one, striving for the better. Working as a team, working toward a dream. It's not even work when the team is the dream. On a united front, we got our own back. A band of brothers to counteract any attack One heart in fact, forget what the blood say Dope is what flows in this fam's DNA So let's do it for the love, give to the max Listen to opinion but react to facts And remember that together with a sh But separate, just pieces of it Shoot, no Dope is what flows in this fam's DNA Dope is what flows in this fam's DNA Family represent like a tree with names on it. We're free, no chains on it. Relieve the pain's gone, I can see. We come together like questions on a quiz. Mojo flow and viz, man, you know what it is. And if ignorance is bliss, you're gonna hate this lesson. Organized intellect like a tropical depression. My symbol is the cross, a mic and ghost peppers. Cause I'm just a black sheep growing up to be a shepherd. Moonlighting as a weapon to protect the children. Every brother is a father, dynasties we're building. Max, J, and K, Bebe, and I, Zay, next level of the family foundation. Understand me?